This is the third video in the Evil Clutches tutorial series. So far in these tutorials, you would have covered all the material highlighted here in the green. In this tutorial, we are going to be focusing on developing the Demon Boss object. Thus far, we have completed the following specification of making the Mother Dragon move up and down with the W and S key. In this tutorial, we're going to make the boss demon automatically move up and down upon his creation. Okay, so now we need to make the boss object. So I'm just going to minimize our dragon object because we're going to come back to her later on. Open the resources panel by clicking on the side there or pressing F12. And just like I did with the dragon, I'm going to start by creating a sprite. So my sprite, I'm going to import the image, which is called boss in the same resources folder as last time. Yes, please import it. I'm going to come over here. I'm going to name it SPR for Sprite. And I'm going to call it Boss. And I need to edit the image and get rid of that brown in the background. So remember, click on the first frame, hold shift, click on the second frame, come over here to the remove color tool and click on the brown and it should get rid of all the colors. It didn't on the other ones. Let's just have it and do those. Not quite sure where I did that, but anyhow. So now they have been edited. Closing that back here, I need to add the animation in. Remember our set speed is 24. Let's have a look and see how he looks at 24. Yeah, he looks like he's kind of flapping around. So that's enough for him. I close that down. I now need to make the object. So go down to objects here, right mouse click, create object. The object starts with OBJ, it's going to be called Boss, not Bass, um, Boss, and click on the sprite here, SPR Boss is going to be the sprite. Okay, nothing else fancy here, so now we need to add some events and event handlers. So the event handler we're going to have is Create. Now this event handler will actually run whatever actions upon the initial creation of um, the boss on the screen. I'm just going to hide the resources there. And what we want to do is we want the boss, as soon as he appears on the screen, we want him to start moving. So I'm going to set him in a fixed direction as well, which is in the move section, but because we only used it before, it's also in our recently used. So I'm just going to use that one. And I'm going to have him move up. And then I'm going to have a set speed. So say what speed he's going to move at. And that speed is 8. Radio. So that's the first thing. So when he starts, starts when the screen loads, he'll start moving up. But what we want to do is when he gets to the top of the screen, we want him to start moving down. We want to reverse direction. So that's a different event. The event is when he hits the edge of the screen. So to get that, we go to events, and I think it's in other, and it's called intersect boundary. So intersect boundary is when the object actually comes to the edge of the screen. <coughs> that means it's intersecting the boundary. And what we're going to do here is when it intersects the boundary, we want it to reverse direction. So let's scroll back down to our movement here and see if I can find the reverse. Reverse direction. And we want it to reverse vertically. Okay, because it's um, up and down is vertical. So choosing reverse and vertical. So, let's have a look. I'm going to now, let's go back to our, our works, our room. I'm going to open him up and have a look. And I'm now going to bring the boss dragon in here, the object boss. Sorry, and let's make sure that he is in the right spot. Yep. And then I'm going to run the game. And when he starts, he should start moving up and hits the edge of the screen, he should turn around and come back down, which is what exactly what he's doing. And the same when he hits the bottom, it moves back up again. And it's still, our dragon moves up and down in accordance with our pressing the buttons. So there we are, that's our second object has been created with two event handlers. We now have addressed our second specification in developing the Evil Clutches game. The new skills you acquired in this lesson were using the create and intersect boundary events, as well as the reverse action.